Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee. Miss Judy is over there on the bed. Another cold night. It's a little bit chilly this morning, but it's warming up and the sun is out, so I think it's going to be a good day to get outside. But, um, so, <laughs> I probably won't film any projects today, but I got something on my mind, and you know I got to share it with you. Alright, so there was an explosion recently in Nashville, and... You know, normally, normally around this time of the year, I get a little depressed. I mean, many people do. There's a lot of different reasons. Um, you know, the holidays used to be such a happy, joyful time for me. And then I went for a long stretch where it wasn't. And uh, so now, you know, these past couple years since I've been out here in Tennessee, it's been better. And it's because I'm gaining new family members. Not only... In my close proximity, but many of you that watch this channel. So you all are really helping. And to those of you who experience depression during this time of the year, well, I'm going to keep you in my thoughts and prayers because I know what you're going through. I do. I feel it every year it comes. Every year I think it's not going to happen, but it always does. So um, I beg off invitations, basically, is what I do because all I want to do is just curl up and be by myself. So I had a couple invitations to dinner and I didn't go. I really wasn't feeling very well. My stomach was bothering me. Um, I had no appetite, but you know, those could all be signs of depression or other things. Maybe I did have a actual stomach virus. All I knew is that I couldn't bring myself to get up and do anything around other people. And I suspect that this is the way it's going to be for me from here on out during the holidays. Um, Thanksgiving, not so much. I had a great Thanksgiving last couple of years. Uh, Christmas is always tough because it's just not the way that it used to be for me about eight or ten years ago. It's it's changed, but that's okay. Um, if you read the uh, little community post that I made yesterday, it, uh, well, it... It's kind of what I'm hanging on to right now. And one of the big reasons, too, you know, if I weren't depressed just because it's the holidays, just because it's cold and wintry and whatnot, you know, the seasonal affective disorder, we had this explosion in Nashville. And it was intentional. Somebody drove up in an RV, parked it out there in front of the at and T Comps building, a, a, like a ma major hub for their communications and data centers and whatever, and uh, then the RV started putting out a warning in a woman's voice um, every minute or so that this, uh, this RV is, this vehicle is going to explode, you need to evacuate now. And it did end up exploding. So it's all being investigated and whatnot. But there's been a lot of people, and this kind of just makes me more depressed than ever. And it's the conspiracy theorists that are out there saying that it was this, it was that. Oh, look, something came down from the sky. Um, that's depressing. I got on Twitter because I wanted to kind of stay updated on it, and that's not a good idea. Twitter is not a good source of information ever. Not for anything. You can't believe a single person. And there was so much hatred and vitriol in the threads talking about the Nashville explosion, that it was just actually stunning. You know, not not only just the idiocy of some people, but the conspiracy theorists, it's the same kind of garbage. Every time something like this happens, oh, it's a false flag, or oh, it's President Trump's fault, or, you know, the, the kind of hatred that people are spewing from their mouths about da Donald Trump and that he's not making a statement about it? Well, he's going to make a statement, but um, eventually. You know, I don't really, I don't even care what he has to say about it because it's just going to be the same canned response that Biden or anybody else is going to give. So it's it's not meaningful. You know, right now the president is trying to get people $2,000, you know, average Americans, every American $2,000 when Congress on both sides is only wanting to, to give y'all 600 give us all. I guess I'm American too. But it's depressing to go and read through comment threads. The comments people are leaving 
you know, and just pointing fingers at Donald Trump like this is his fault or he should be doing more or whatever. I just don't get it. It's it's like Twitter. Twitter is a place on the Internet that people that the Internet goes to die. Basically, um, I think I'm going to delete my Twitter account. Now, Twitter is absolutely the most toxic place on the Internet, and I can't, I can't be a part of it anymore. It's just, there's nothing uplifting about it anymore. You know, you've got these armchair sleuths that were basically looking into the RV window in the picture and, you know, telling you that they know everything about the person that's behind the wheel. And then these conspiracy theories that are going out, it just... It's depressing. It's depressing to see how hateful and vitriolic people can be and how predictably stupid they can be. I think that's the nicest way of putting it. How predictably stupid otherwise normal-seeming people can be when something like this happens. They, they can't put their thinking caps on, basically. They can't think rationally. It's emotionally, illogically... And you, you just can't, you just can't depend on what people are saying. It's just, it's wild. It's crazy. I, I'm deleting my Twitter account. All right. So if y'all follow me on Twitter, uh, I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. After our, I finish this video, I'm going to delete it because it is the most toxic, sinful, awful place, you know, that you can go. And censorious as well. You know, they will... They will put up little notices on some people about what they say and not others who say the same thing. So anyhow, I'm going to stop ranting about Twitter. Um, I had a very quiet Christmas. Um, the day after, Mr. Lucas and his wife and family, they had cooked a beautiful meal. And they wanted me to come, but I just couldn't do it. Um, they made me up a big plate. And it had crab claws. It had cowboy beans. Oh, they were so good. It had um, cornbread, cornbread with cheese in the middle of it. And potatoes, excuse me, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob. God, I know I'm forgetting something. Um, but it, it was absolutely delicious. And a big tray of cookies. And then when I was over talking to Mr. Lucas and watching the chickens, watching his chickens, um, I'm going to show you a little clip of the day two of his chickens here in a second. This is the day after Christmas, and Mr. Cockadoo is doing great. He's doing that tidbitting thing. Picks up food for the girls and lays it down for them. He is a good rooster, just like Romeo. They're all doing really, really great. He's not been aggressive towards any of them. Do you guys see how beautiful that rooster is? Just look at the size of him. Look at his feathers. That is quite a rooster. He's giving me the stank eye a little bit there. They're all talking to each other. Working out great. Then Don and Andy came over from Andy's, Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead and a country girl. Um, they had a big bag of presents. His Andy's mom had wrapped a bunch of beautiful little things for me. She had crocheted some hot pads, some, um, well, here, let me just show you. She got these. These She didn't make these, but I needed them because I can't find mine. She crocheted me these. These are hot pads, and I don't know if you can see how thick they are, but they are very, very thick. Um, oh, she got me a little blankie for Miss Judy. Haha, <laughs> lovely. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Look at this. A beautiful coffee cup in my favorite color. I love it. Uh, let's see, there's so much more in here, um, two, uh, like four big bags of cookies, um, washcloths, a whole bunch of crocheted washcloths in different colors, love them, Francie had, 
made me um, a couple washcloths and I've just used the heck out of them. And she made some scrubbies. Look at, they're out of that material. Remember Francie had made me some? These are a little bit different. They got a little uh, handle on the top of them so I can and uh, hang them up and they scrub really well. Um, oh, and some socks. She didn't make me the socks, but more socks. <laughs> uh, let's see what's else in here. Oh, this. I guess I know some people who keep bees and I'm seriously considering keeping bees. A jar, big old jar of honey. This is raw, fresh from the hive, honey. And you know what's weird? When I see honey, I think making mead. <laughs> I know that's terrible. All right, what else? What else? I think that that may be it. Yes. Um, and like I said, four big bags of um, cookies. And Cody and Hannah had come over as well. And they brought me. <laughs> they brought me duct tape. They brought me a can opener. They brought me four big pillar uh, candles, because I knew I needed candles. Um, oh, and a digital meat thermometer. So that was pretty awesome. Um, and I gave them a little package, something for my parents, and I got them a couple little things too. But, um, so yeah, Christmas, Christmas turned out pretty great. And Joan, if you're watching this, thank you so much for those beautiful gifts. Um, and Joan, Andy's mom has her own YouTube channel now, so I'm going to leave the link below, and you can go and start watching her videos, too. She's very, very sweet, sweet lady. Oh, on Christmas Eve, too, this box has been sitting here since Christmas Eve. I haven't even opened it yet. That's That just show you how bad depression gets to you when you can't even, like, open up a, up a Christmas present somebody has sent you. So I'm going to turn this around, and we're going to open this big old box. Here it is, this big box. I have a feeling I know what this is. I was told I was getting something else on Christmas Eve. Um, I'm not positive this is what it is because there's always packages that get delayed or whatever. Um, all right, let's see if I can do this and not stab myself. I have a feeling I know what this is. Yep. <laughs> More insulation. Yay! I've now got the two packages of insulation that I need to be able to get this project done on the inside. Let's see if it says who it's from. Nope, but I'm pretty sure it's from the ladies, the four ladies who helped get this all together. Um, let me just look for a note. I just got confirmation that the second thing of insulation is not from the four ladies. The the ladies who got together and got me the ringer and the first thing of insulation and whatnot. There was no note. I have no idea who it's from. So whoever you are, thank you so much. It is going to enable me to finish the rest of the walls inside and get it all nice and insulated. I just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Um... I don't know who sent it and it's gonna all oh, it's gonna drive me crazy now. So if you feel like it, just leave a comment or contact me via email. My email address is on the bottom of my about page. Hit me up on Facebook, whichever, um, and just let me know. Or if you don't want to be known, just know that I really, really appreciate it so very much. And um when I start thinking about doing my projects, I start feeling better. So it's going to be even sunnier today. I'm going to get out and do something. At least, at the very least, I have to get out there and cover the rest of the, that water tank so that algae doesn't set up in there really well. Um, the tank is almost half full. You guys, it's been raining and it is almost half full. So that brings me joy. So for anybody else who's out there struggling with issues, you know, depression, and, and maybe it's not because you have any reason to be sad. It's just sometimes this time of the year, people get sad because of the weather. Um, so I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you in spirit. And uh, just come and talk to me <laughs> on my channel. Don't talk to me on Twitter because my Twitter is going to be gone. Um, and just share your thoughts and feelings because I truly do understand. I have been through it. I'm going through it. And uh, hopefully someday I won't have to feel this way anymore. And it's just nobody's fault. Um, it's not anything anybody has done or said. It's just my chemical makeup. It's just the way that I am. So, yeah. Keep people like us in your prayers. 
because sometimes it's really hard to sort it out. Um, so that's going to be my prayer, that anybody who suffers through seasonal affective disorder or depression around the holidays or any of that, that the Lord wraps you in comfort and warmth and that you can find a way out of it. Anyways, I need to go check the chickens. I need to wrap that tank and, um, well, eat this boatload of cookies I got here sitting right beside me. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.